Hello everyone, Real English Speakers. Welcome to my Business English lesson. So, my name's Nick, as you might know, and I also teach Business English with my school, Real English Speaker, online with Skype or face-to-face -face here in Sydney. I have quite a lot of experience teaching people in the corporate world. I often go to people's businesses, to their workplaces in the city here in Sydney. And I've worked with some big software companies and many other companies here with Spanish people, German people, and so on. So if you want to improve your communication for business, for business meetings and phone calls, dealing with customers, or just for your job, I can help you with that. So this video should help you to feel more confident in your job if you have to use English. I'm giving you four idioms, four common expressions which are useful in the business world. Let's start. Number one, bring to the table. Bring something to the table. What do you think this means? Let's start with an example. Jack brings a great deal of knowledge to the table. The table? <laughs> so, in this case, you can think about the boardroom. The boardroom is the big meeting room where all the different people from the departments in the company will come together once a week or every day to talk with the, the CEO or the bosses and have a meeting. So, when you bring something to the table, you contribute something. You give an idea to the discussion. So it means to offer something useful or provide something that is of benefit to a project or to the, the company or to the meeting. You have to bring definite suggestions to the table. What can you bring to the table? So if someone asks you that, what can you bring to the table? It means, what can you offer this company? So often when you go for a job in a big business, they might say, what can you bring to the table? What skills do you have and, and ideas that you can use here? Um, I can bring to the table my software skills and my IT knowledge and my three languages or my customer service skills. All right, let's go to number two. Shoestring budget. A shoestring budget. <laughs> this is an interesting one. This is a very small sum of money or capital that is not enough. It's barely adequate. So if the business does not have much money, you can say it's running on a shoestring budget. To be running on means to be operating. We, so we run a business, we run a company, we operate a business. It's running on a shoestring budget. We started this company on a shoestring budget. So we started this company with very little money. And you have to say on a shoestring budget. Or you can just say on a shoestring. We had to deliver the project on a shoestring. That means that's the short form of the idiom. Number three, jump through hoops. To jump through hoops. I had to jump through hoops to get those investors involved. What did I have to do? I had to try really hard and do everything possible. So to jump through hoops, it means to do anything necessary to please someone, to get what you want. So this is when you try many different tactics, many different ways to get what you want. The company is jumping through hoops these days to try to please advertisers. I had to jump through hoops to get investors for this. So I had to try so hard and do so many things to get people interested. And number four, push the envelope or pushing the envelope. 
So what is that? This is a very common expression. It's a popular phrase, which means to exceed the limits of what is normally done. You know, like there are a lot of people creating businesses online now, aren't they? And websites. So what can you do to push the envelope to do something a bit different, to be innovative? Innovative means something different or unusual or unique. To make an impact in this industry, we really need to push the envelope. Steve Jobs really pushed the envelope when he invented the iPhone. So that's true, isn't it? I mean, Apple are really pushing the envelope. Um, so they're trying new things. Maybe you disagree. Maybe there is another phone that you think is better, but yeah, pushing the envelope is going beyond the limits and trying to do something very different from the other businesses. So don't stop there. Here are my three key points for remembering vocabulary and idioms. Read, write, speak. Read, write, speak. <laughs> so read first. Okay, so you can find vocabulary when you're reading or watching videos. So actually it could be read or listen. And then write. So writing it down, even just making a list and making a sentence. Even if you never look at this again, the action of writing with your hand, ideally, actually has a, an effect on the brain, which helps you remember it, helps you integrate it. And speak. So then use it. So learn it, hear it or read it, write it, and then even just say it at home when you watch the video. But even better, go out and practice it with someone. So good luck and have fun. And I hope you can use these in your work.